G'day everyone, Tim from vMix here, and in this video we're going to take a look at custom vMix social titles. Now vMix social allows you to add live social media content to the titles that you've added in your vMix production. Now the social titles are a little bit different from normal ones as they're using dynamically generated content from different social media and streaming platforms. Now it's a really great way to be able to engage with your viewers. You can do question and answers and view real-time comments. So if you're new to GT Title Designer and vMix, I'd recommend watching our intro tutorials so you know a little bit more about how to use it. We're not gonna go through the entire process today. So firstly, I'm gonna show you the differences between some of the titles. So as you can see here, I have a really basic lower third. Now, if I go into the title editor, you can see that I've got a headline and a description here with my personal mantra. So if I wanna make changes here, I can just edit them here manually. I can add a preset and that sort of thing. So it's very straightforward. I'm manually editing the content in this lower third. So if we open up this social title here, the first thing you'll notice are all the different fields that are now available on the left-hand side. It's not just a headline and description. We have things like from photo, message, source, photo, from name, all that kind of thing. Now these fields are being dynamically populated by the social media platform. So they're sending across a lot of pieces of information like profile pictures, the messages of a comment directly into our title. So if you're using a vMix title template, we've automatically connected these two together. So we've created these fields on the left-hand side here to match up with the corresponding API name. So for example, when Facebook sends through the profile picture, it's called from photo. So when we created the title template, we made the field called from photo. And that means that vMix Social and the API can connect automatically and bring that information across. So if you're using the templates in vMix, you don't have to worry about setting all of it up. It's gonna work automatically. So if you wanna create your own custom titles, you're going to need to connect up your fields with the corresponding field from the social platform. So you need to make sure that all of that is mapped correctly. So that's what we're gonna show you how to do in this video right now. So there are a couple of different ways to do this. So I've jumped over to the GT Title Designer. Now I'm using the Advanced Designer today, which is available in 4K and Pro, and it allows me to custom animate things. If you're using HD or below, you won't be able to create custom animations, but you can still create uh, custom titles. So I've created a basic template for this tutorial just to show you how all of this works. Now, if you wanna follow along step-by-step, step, you can actually download it from the description if you want to follow along. So as I mentioned before, when we create these templates, we make sure that it's lining up with the corresponding API name. So for example, from name is going to be the, um, the name of the person sending it through. From photo is going to be their profile picture, for example. So I'll quickly show you how vMix Social connects up these templates. So if I click on edit title mappings here, you'll see all of the different information that's available. So for example, my from name is connected to the from name option from the platform. Message is connected to message, source is connected to source and that sort of thing. So that's already automatically connected up with vMix. Now you notice up the top here, we have title text is none. And that's because we've created a title down here that we can edit in vMix with our own branding. And that's not associated with any of the API commands. We're manually doing that in vMix. So in order to make things easier, when you're creating your title, it's best to call them the exact name that's associated with the API so vMix can directly connect them automatically. So as you can see here, this field down here is called from photo and it automatically lines up to the corresponding from photo command here. So message is message and that kind of thing. So we've automatically connected it up and that's the easiest way to do things. Okay, so now I've loaded up the exact same template, but I've gone ahead and changed all of the names just to make it a little bit more difficult for myself. So as you can see here, I've changed it to their photo. I've changed this name to comment, their name and that sort of thing. So I've made it different. So I have to go through now and actually map it properly. Okay, so now I've got that title that I've just shown you in the GT Title Designer in vMix and I'll show you what happens. So I'm gonna send across this thing from vMix Social and as you can see, it's not mapped up, it's not connected, so it doesn't know where everything goes. So let's go into vMix Social and let's map this up. So let's go to Edit Title Mappings, and now we need to remember what we should all call it. So what we need to do is their name was from name, comment should be message, title was none because that was the, uh, the spare area that we had um, that we wanna put our brand in. Picture was photo, I think. 
source should be source. So source is the location, so Twitter or Facebook icon, um, and their photo is photo. So in the description, I'll link all of the API information so you can see what's supposed to link up with what. All right, so I've got everything selected there, I believe. So let's click OK. And I don't have my image here for some reason. Let's have a look and make sure that we connected. Their photo should be from photo, of course. Click OK and there it appears. So as you can see, you need to be very careful when setting this up. You need to make sure that you've aligned them with the correct um, API information. So that's why it's easier just to automatically name them what they should be called, you know, like from photo, message and all that kind of thing. So I would recommend doing it that way if you wanted to do it properly and easy. So I thought I'd really quickly go over this particular title template and show you how I set things out. I keep it fairly simple, but if you check out the templates in Vmix, there's a lot of different ways to display social content. All right, so I'm just gonna start from the bottom here now. From photo is the profile picture. So this is the profile picture being sent across from Facebook and you need to call it from photo. So you, what you would do is you create a blank PNG and you add it to the area where you want the profile picture to be and then call it from photo. Source will display a little icon of the uh, social media or the streaming platform. Some of them have them, some of them don't. Uh, I'll link the information in the description. So that's just a little image. It's a blank PNG where I want that to go and I call it source. Then we have photo up the top here. So the photo is if there's comments coming through with a photo, you can choose a photo area uh, and then call it photo. Again, that's another blank PNG that you would create and then go from there. Now we have title here. So I've created this title information. It's something that I edit in vMix directly. It's not something that comes across via the social media platform. Message, as you can see here, this is the message section. So that's the comment that comes across from the platform. And one thing to remember is it's important to use the Segoi UI emoji font if you wanna bring across emojis. So it's not a direct emoji, it's gonna be the text version of that particular emoji and that's a petrol pump if you couldn't tell. And finally, from name. So the from name text field down here is vMix. So that's what's coming across. All right, so let's go over a few things with this template that I've got in the description. Now you notice here that we have the from photo. Now you might think there's no photo there, but that's because we've got a blank PNG or a clear PNG image file. And that's because some platforms don't like it when a user doesn't have an image. So it will just show whatever we send it in vMix. So it's best to have nothing here than just a placeholder. So we usually have this as blank. So if we go to browse, you'll see that I've got blank PNG selected here. So another thing that you wanna consider is the message section down here. Now I set this to shrink because you don't know how many characters you're going to need for your comment. It could be five characters, it could be 500 characters. So you wanna make sure that the, however big it is, it shrinks down and it fits into that title area. Now, because we've only got a lower third here, you may wanna play around to see how many that you can fit in there with it being legible, uh, and then go to vMix Social and set that to the character uh, limit right here. So it just depends on how much you want or how small you want it to look um, at its worst. So you don't really wanna cut people off, but typically you shouldn't be having somebody comment a full essay on your live stream. And finally, I'm gonna show you how to create a circular profile photo. So as you can see here, I've got the from photo here. So what I'm gonna do is just delete this and then I'm gonna grab a circle and create a circle. And I'm just gonna make it the right size, which was 260 by 260. So that's the height of my lower third. So that's 260 by 260 if you wanna create that. I'm gonna line that up here. First thing I need to go to the data tab and unselect hidden, meaning that that's now going to appear in the title uh, editor and it's gonna be able to be seen from the API. I'm gonna right click this, go to edit fill, select picture, go to browse, and I'm just gonna use that same clear blank PNG file um, that I had before. So you just need to create a clear PNG if you wanna add this. Click OK, I'm gonna apply it to see what happens, it's disappeared, and then click OK. So now I'm just gonna change the name of it to from photo like so, and I'm gonna save this up here. Let's, oh, we already have one saved, so I'm just gonna save it again. Yes, uh, and now I'm gonna bring that into vMix. Okay, so now we have this in here. Um, I've got my from photo, yep. And let's go ahead and send this across. Oh, always, you gotta to remember to reassign this if you remove it, there we go. Let's refresh the title and there we go. As you can see now, I've got a circle as my profile image. Now what I can do is I can also go here 
from the from photo, I could grab a border. So I could build a border like so. I'm gonna save this, right click on this here and reload it. As you can see now, it has got a circular border there as well. So that's how you can create a circle. And um, yeah, you can have a rounded uh, profile picture if you want to. So I thought I would create a really basic lower third for you so that you can understand how all this connects. So what I'm gonna do is create a very, very basic social title. So basically I'm gonna align it here. Um, let's just change the color of it. Let's add another box down the bottom. Again, you can check out the videos to find out how to use the GT title to its best ability. I'm just gonna create a very, very simple uh, basic one here. So now I've got two rectangles. In the top section, I'm gonna add a text field here. Again, you can go through all the videos and learn how to align and do all this properly. So I've got a text box up here now. What I'm going to do is select the Segoy UI emoji font here. So that's gonna convert any emojis from the picture to text so people can see it and you can understand what it is. And also I'm gonna set this to shrink as well. This text field for my message or my comment is going to be set to shrink, meaning that if it's got five characters or 500 characters, it's going to shrink the text to display within the bounds of this box. I also like to name it here so I don't get confused as to what it is. And then I need to make sure that in the field section up here, I call it what the API wants to add text to. So the comment coming from say Facebook or YouTube is going to be called message. So that's the API information that I need to have here is message. Next, I'm gonna add some more text to this other box down here. I'm gonna go here, uh, basically, uh, I'm gonna use the same font. Usually, you know, they shouldn't have emojis in their name, but I'm just gonna use the same font so it matches up. Make sure that I shrink it just in case they have a crazy long name. Um, I can al align this just a little bit better down here. Whoops, like so. Um, let's change the color of it. And so there I've got the text box here. Usually I would put their name in there. So let's just go from name, which is the name of the API. And then I've got to go to the field and change this to from name up here. So it corresponds with the right API field. Okay, so we've got that, I've got the message. Um, what I wanna do is add their profile picture. So what I would do is go to the image section and I wanna add my clear PNG. So this is a clear PNG file. As you can see, there's nothing there, but that's going to populate with their um, profile image if I name it correctly. So I'm just gonna put it in the corner here and then I need to make sure that I name it the correct thing, which is from photo. So from photo is the API uh, field for their profile picture. Um, and what I wanna do now also is add another blank PNG and let's just put that up here. Uh, and we're going to just make this the photo. So if there's any photos in their comment, it's going to be displayed here. And I wanna make sure that I call this photo, which is the correct uh, API field. So currently I've got the comment, I've got their name, I've got their photo, I've got any sort of uh, image that comes across in the comment, and I think that's about it. The only other thing that I'm going to add now is another text field down the bottom here where I'm going to set this to my own title. So I'm gonna call it whatever I want. So I'm just gonna call it um, this here, and let's shrink it, make it white. And what I'm gonna do now is just, I can call it whatever. So this is not something that I'm grabbing from the API. This is what I'm gonna edit in vMix. So I'm just gonna call it title. And I could even put the content in here now if I wanted to. All right, so I think that's about it. Now I'm going to go save and let's call this Tim's terrible social title. And now I'm gonna load that into vMix. Tim's terrible social title? Okay, looks like I don't wear my glasses, which is bad. So now I'm going to go to add input title now, if you've got this here, you can easily go to recent to see anything recent that's come up and we're gonna select okay. As you can see, the title is already filled out because that's what I've added in um, the title designer. And these are just other information that we have with the API. So nothing's in there because um, it hasn't been connected yet. So let's connect it up. Let's go to vMix social and let's go ahead and select Timp's terrible social title. Uh, and then let's just bring that up. Okay, so there we go. All of our stuff has come through. We've got our message here. We've got the name that we added that title. We have the name of my user profile coming through and profile picture and the picture that we have 
in the comment. Okay, so once you get the hang of creating API fields like from name, from photo, message, and that sort of thing, you can start adding it with all the other elements within vMix. So here's a quick example of what we do for the vMix Fun Time Live Show. Now I downloaded a video from videoblocks.com, that's blocks with an L, and what I did was made it into an image sequence. I play out that image sequence in the title designer, and then I overlay the social content. I just fade that up, uh, and as you can see, it looks pretty cool. So basically all I've got is an image sequence and then I've got the social content and other title elements overlaid on top. So this is what it looks like. Image sequence plays out, then I fade up the social content. So that's all it is. So basically this background thing is a image sequence. We've got the message here, which is, you know, that's an API connection. What else do we have here? We have Dear Martin and Tim. So that's permanently there. That's content that I've added here. Um, I could edit that in vMix if I wanted to, but that's not going to be accessing the API. Um, I've got the from, that's permanent. Now this is where I have the from name down here. So that's going to populate with the name from Facebook or YouTube. Uh, and I also have the from photo down in the corner here. As you can see, it's just a clear PNG. So let me play that out again. There we go, image sequence, and then it fades up the content. So that's just combining an image sequence and then just basic fades for those text API fields. So if you have any questions about the GT title designer, don't forget to check out all their other videos, including things like image sequences uh, and creating basic titles as well. So if you have any technical questions, please send us an email via the support page on vmix.com. Um, as if you get technical questions, then we usually just leave a shrug and can you please send us an email? So you can download a free trial of vmix at vmix.com if you wanna check that out. Uh, so thanks for watching and we will stream you later. Thanks for watching. Click to watch another exciting vMix video or head to vmix.com for a free 60-day trial. See you later.